Mr. McFall presents Science You Can Do in Your Home. Please be advised, Mr. McFall is a trained professional. Make sure you follow all safety precautions before attempting the experiment shown in this video. Hi there. It looks like for the foreseeable future, most of us are going to be spending a lot more time indoors. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you some fun and interesting science experiments that you can do at home. For this first one, you're going to need some tea bags. Now, not just any tea bags, but the tea bags that come with a little ticket. They're in a little envelope like this. This is the type of tea bag that you're going to need. Uh, you're going to need a glass. That's just to, for tightness sake. You'll see that in a second. You're going to need a plate and then either matches or a lighter. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to unwrap this tea bag and we're going to use our scissors to cut off the top of the tea bag, just like that. And what you're going to find is that these tea bags are actually a little tube. So we're going to empty the tea out into the cup like so. I'm going to try and make sure to get rid of all the tea inside the tube like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just make a little tea tube like that. And we're going to stand it up on the plate. Okay. Actually, I haven't cut this quite flat enough. If that, if it won't stand up for you, you just have another go at cutting the bottom to make it nice and flat surface and stand it up on the plate like that. And then the last thing that you want to do is light the top of it, being very careful that you don't knock it over in the process. So I hope you enjoyed that. But what I'm actually going to do after each one of these videos is I'm going to hand over to my cartoon alter ego to explain the science. So over to him now. So there are four states of matter that basically everything in the universe exists in. They are solid, liquid, gas, and one you may not be aware of, plasma. Liquids and gases have a collective term. They are known as fluids. This is because they have particles that can flow past one another. It's this ability of the particles to flow and move past one another that allows liquids and gases to take part in a heat transfer that solid objects can't. Convection is the movement of a heated fluid. When a gas is heated, the particles that make up the gas gain more kinetic energy, or movement energy. This movement energy makes the particles travel further apart so there is more space between them. More space means the gas is less dense, and therefore lighter. This is a great animation showing the heated air rising and the cold air falling due to their different densities. This is the same principle that allows hot air balloons to rise. The heated air inside the balloon is less dense and lighter than the surrounding air. And so that's how the floating tea bag works. I hope you enjoyed this science experiment that you can try at home and stay tuned for the next science at home video. Thank you.